everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today we're going to be discussing pvp team comps particularly for this week but before that if you want an updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay so before we take a look at this week's team compositions what is going to be running this week let's take a look at this week's bands and ups so that we have an idea of who they are so there are a lot of band twos a lot of band ones so no sh no 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 surprise there gayon is band two kyle wong has been highly utilized last week even if band ones who is band two now um also for for sylvia sylvia is actually expected to be band two because she dominated pvp last week and you have Liumi here, band one. Young Harim is also at band one because of usage. And the twins actually went down from band two to band one. But they're now usable actually at band one at three deployment cost. Next, you have Yumina, of course. There were Yumina abusers last week. And that is why she's here. Um, Hilde, Awaken Hilda is a surprise that she's not here. But I'm sure after this week, she's going to be banned kind of for sure <laughs> okay then you have uh, Kang So Young again very uh, very much utilized last week and also you have um, Rosaria highly utilized now at band one and Claudia Nelson now at band one as well so let's check out the the band ships so you have new Ohio band one Lake Superior is going to be band one but I think she's still going to be used and also enterprise is still here at band one so expect to see both of them like superior and enterprise still to be used also um kamizumi will be used this week so for your ups this week choi ina returns to the ups she's one uh i i won't be delving much into the skills of choi ina um i'll be concentrating more on the team comps this week so also you have buzzard here Buzzard is actually a sniper, which at two costs you can spam him. And Ogami at two. Um, I'm not really keen on him being up. Um, mostly I think the one that will be used this week is Choina, then Buzzard at sniper at two cost. So let's go to my team composition. So not this one, number two. So this one i have been actually playing for quite a while today already um this team already is has given me a a 10 game winning streak which is active right now so we'll, we'll have a little bit of pvp but before that i'd like to i'd like to discuss this team more so in terms of what i have been seeing in pvp so you already have awakened hilde still there um you also have uh, yuna awakened yuna still there then your core will be also be evident because they would need healing and i think she's the top healer now um some would be using Arius if it, they don't have evelyn or it might be a preference and also um with the absence of both kang so young and uh what's the other one uh awakened yumina um Elizabeth will actually come into play more because she's the only um she's the only deploy anywhere um uh, what they call this unit that can ha can deal damage so she's there in my team as for your as for your what they call this so you see here actually Choina Choina is actually very perfect for your team because again she increases um skill cooldowns or skill haste and also for buzzard at two cost again you can spam buzzard as your sniper already so again um don't be shy in deploying buzzard because again at two cost it is very cheap to deploy him in the battlefield so as your as what you call this as the if you don't have some of these units there are other units to consider like for example um for chifuyu for the strikers again you have Ainz's way you might consider using Ainz's way um with well if you take her out also is Jushiung. um also take note that you have Hilde as well to replace her in this team okay so 
for your Rangers, although there are a lot of banned Rangers right now, including Kyle Wong. Um, you only I I used actually Jin uh, Shinja and only Elizabeth. But if you don't actually you know want to bring Shinja, you could actually bring Ju Xiyun. So Ju Xiyun, the guy with the sword uh, that drops a big building. So that's the guy. So you can actually replace uh, Shinja. I actually tried Shinja uh, in 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 replacement of Shinja. Sorry, I I tried um, Jushio in the replacement of Shinja, and I think it also works as well. So also good in this team comp. You can also use admin rifleman at two cost. They are very good ranger as well, and um, that's it. So basically this week your selection for rangers is very very slim. A lot are banned right now. Um, including Rosar Rosaria so again you have to make sure that you stay put to what works with your team as well for defenders um, uh, if you don't want to use Hilde you could actually use Serapel if you built her up already also you could use Dominic King if you haven't built her up the key actually in this in this team comp would be Yuna. Yuna is a star here. Almost all of um, the teams that I've seen have Yuna. Sometimes they have Serapel in, in replacement of Hilde. Sometimes they have Hilde and Serapel as well. So more or less, this is what you have. For support, again, if you don't have Evelyn Keller, you could put their um, Nanahara Chinatsu as well. Or also Arius as I mentioned before um what else so that's that's basically it guys this actually team works already i haven't modified this about an hour ago so we'll take uh, we'll, we'll go to the next team that i've seen that is going to be successful this week um because there there are a few come into play damage dealers snipers are going to be out they're going to play a big role um only only elizabeth can kill them um again they are free to roam right now and the back line will surely be fatter than the front line so for the mech team mech teams are actually viable because they again can tank at the back and um i've seen a lot of mech teams together with yuna as well uh defender your defender here is the hound but you can actually prefer seraphel if you want to change up also for your iron side if you don't want iron side you could actually bring evelyn keller or arius if you want to heal more than just mechs so again you have here buzzard because again she uh, buzzard is actually terrific at two cost then you have shaolin <coughs> which is actually a tank killer um if you don't deal with her as early as possible she will definitely kill your awakened hilde so again very good <coughs> defender or tank killer then you have here um elizabeth again elizabeth is for your ranger and damage when she comes into play or deployed then you have here administration rifleman which is actually good with this team as well you can actually switch this up with uh, shinja if you want but again I've seen this team work in PvP ranked right now, and this is actually a, <coughs> a good build as well. Okay, as for soldier teams, I haven't seen that much soldier teams um, in terms of um, the usual build would be you have the your admi admin swordsman, you have um, the rifleman, you have Jane Doe. It's usually a quick team with um, Stellar as their ship. Okay, so for for the soldiers, sometimes they also put um, Awakened Yuna as well. So again, soldiers can be viable, but I haven't seen that much play yet um, this early. But again, those soldier teams are pretty much very fast and they are the only, what do you call this? They are your only, um, more or less, your rush teams out there. So again, for now, I would highly recommend either this mech team or this team that I've been I've been using. So this one bring uh, carries Abraham. This one I've been using Lake Superior. I'm still building my Kamizumi, but again, Lake Superior 
for this team is actually terrific i don't have any complaints in running this team let's have some pvp action and see if i can maintain my 10 game winning streak <laughs> okay so let's go ahead let's find an opponent let's see if if i could uh, if i could find so it's 10 as you can see so this is the my highest placing um ever since i played um in rank pvp so hopefully i could give in a couple of matches for you guys so that we could uh, we could see on how this team is being played so as you can see again there are lots of yunas out there so if I don't have a Wicked Hill Day, I usually would go with Evelyn just to back up heals. Then the other, I would try... Oh, see? I told you guys, um, snipers are very deadly in this game. If, especially if you don't have a tank. Like what happened... Again, I'm going to lose this. My 10-game winning streak is a good buy. So as you can see, guys, um, snipers are really um are really used right now they are very common especially for shaolin um be careful if you don't have a tank in front of your yuna she will definitely be killed as soon as possible if you don't really mind the back line so again let's start a new winning streak so back to zero okay so lesson learned when i commentate during a fight I usually don't pay attention that much so anyway it's okay so again let's start from scratch so let's play her um the opponent played gabriel so i'm going to probably tank this one um let's start with so I have a weakened Hilda here, so I could actually deploy her. Then give a shield to the both of them. So then you have here at two cost again. Buzzard is actually a good discount. So let's have that sandwich effect. <laughs> And I don't know what happened. So I hope I'm I'm going to be alive for this one. Not really sure. So so far doing good. So Yuna's gonna be out again. Again, as you can see there, um Um what do you call this? Evelyn is actually crucial because Again, she makes sure that uh, you guys can survive long. And I think this is an opponent. I'll just drop Awaken Hilde here just for... Just as a insurance. Because again, the Awakens are out again. <laughs> so hopefully I could sustain this one. See? Okay, that's nice. So again, very good, very good decision. So again, your the play of this team will center around those two. Um, so again, you now should be out first because Awaken Hill they will have to apply that shield. So let's go to the second. Oh no, the third match. This is very stressful, guys. <laughs> when you are actually at the um, at the uh, at I, I'm at Platinum Three and uh, you have to maintain that level it's actually sometimes stressful to play uh, but if you have a team that is actually very you know consistent in terms of in terms of output in terms of um how you play it um, as long as you don't deviate so much in the play style of a certain team it usually usually the the results are the same so so again same formula same formula, Awaken Hill, they will be next. Because I need a tank in front. So nice. 
Okay. The buzzard is going to be out. I think I made the wrong decision there. We'll see in a bit. We'll see in a bit. It's too much chaos. See? I did make a mistake. I did put Buzzard in ahead of Evelyn. So I actually paid for that mistake. So again, um, Buzzard can be good. But I forgot that Evelyn should be, you know, should be there before Buzzard. So that's my, that's my, that's my problem. Let's go into one last match. So again, this team is pretty much very, you know, as long as long as you play it the way it should be played, then I think you will have no problem. Most of the time, you'll run into a lot of mirror matches. So again, the sequence there is you have to have the four out. You have Yuna, you have Hilde, you have Choi Ina, and you have Evelyn. So those four are should be the first to be out unless if they're not there that you can't play them. So like for example, right now, Choi Ina is not here. So I'm forced to deploy Yuna. Then next would be Awaken Hilde, then Evelyn. So I'm not sure when is when is Choina appearing. <clears throat> Evelyn's next. I learned my lesson. Actually, I did. <laughs> see, even the opponent actually is is putting out Evelyn as soon as possible, because again you need to have that healer as early as possible to mediate any damage so what oh see so i have right decision right decision again shaolin is there um snipers be careful of snipers this time I'll have one one last match for you guys. Um, one last match just to... I think this is my fifth or my sixth. So again, if you want to if you want to follow that build, follow the sequence of the first four. So you have Hilde, you have Yuna, you have uh, Choi Ina, or you have Evelyn. So those are the first four. So if you don't have Choi Ina again, so you ha just have to mix it up. But ideally, if you have them, that is your that is your sequence already. Then, um, as much as possible, the role of um, Lake Superior here is to do this one, the um, her S two spell or skill. So that is actually that is actually the um, what they call this the icing on everything so that you could you could make sure that everybody's in the middle so here we are there you go rifleman so evelyn 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 come out evelyn i need you evelyn <laughs> I need you, Evelyn. So riflemans are out. So that is the time you you put out Buzzard because again, he's a supplementary damage dealer, which you can actually again spam. So again, another sniper in play, but with this. So this is it, guys. So again, just follow the formula, more or less. Once you follow the way it's be it's supposed to be played, then it's usually. Good, because usually you have mirror matches anyway so again guys this is my last match thank you very much um if you've gone this far please consider subscribing please put a, a click the bell icon put a like on this video and also take care guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here